Here are 51 things about Rob Deerdeck you didn't know, and you definitely didn't know most of them. Rob Deerdeck holds the Guinness World Record for the longest skateboard jump and the most consecutive 360 degree spins in a car. He started the Rob Deerdeck Foundation, which works on creating safe places for kids who don't have much to skate. One of the coolest parts of Rob Deerdeck's career is his fantasy factory. It's a huge warehouse, which he turned into a skateboard heaven. It's got everything, like a foam pit, big ramps, and even a basketball court. It's where Deerdeck's craziest ideas become real. MTV played ridiculousness for decades, and a total 60% of what they showed during those years. As of 2024, Deerdeck has a net worth of over $100 million, all thanks to his hard work, dedication, and activeness. MTV initially paid Rob $35,000 per episode, before increasing it to $60,000 per episode, making him a total of $1.4 million after all three seasons. When he was 11, Deerdeck got a deal with Surf Ohio, a skate shop in Dayton, Ohio, to sponsor him. He started competing when he was 12. When he was 15, in July 1989, Deerdeck won first place in a skateboard competition held by the National Skateboard Association in the North Central District. When he was 16, he chose to skip his last year of high school and moved to Southern California to focus on his pro skateboarding career. Ridiculousness premiered August of 2011 to a whopping 3 million viewers. When he was 17, Deerdeck started his own company making accessories for skateboards called Orion Trucks. In 2005, he planned, designed, and got money for the first ever skate plaza, the Rob Deerdeck and DC Shoes Skate Plaza in his hometown of Kettering. Despite Rob's integration rights for Fantasy Factory, if an outside brand wants to advertise on the show, the revenue split is 50-50 between Rob and MTV. In 2010, Deerdeck started Street League Skateboarding, SLS, a pro skateboarding competition. The championship event in 2012 had the biggest prize money ever in skateboarding history, $1.6 million. It aired on ESPN in 198 countries. In total, Deerdeck has 21 Guinness World Records for skateboarding. In 2014, Deerdeck and his production company Super Jacket Productions made a deal with MTV to keep making ridiculousness and to do one more season of Rob Deerdeck's Fantasy Factory. He started the Deerdeck Machine, a company that invests in and helps grow new businesses. He calls it a venture studio because it focuses on startups. Rob is a great entrepreneur and has sold multiple of his businesses for a total of $450 million. Rob made a total of $20 million on TV shows alone. At 18, he had been hanging around successful business people for a while. He says he was basically raised by entrepreneurial wolves. He has three really fancy houses in Los Angeles that are worth $25 million altogether. He has spent millions modifying his houses and he has an impressive real estate portfolio. In 1995, Deerdeck was traveling around, competing in events, and showing off his skills in different places like North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. In 2023, Deerdeck announced his plans to live until he's 114 years old by sticking to healthy routines like intermittent fasting and meditation. In April 2012, Deerdeck's cartoon show Wild Grinders started airing on Nicktoons. Deerdeck made and oversaw the show, and even voiced the character Lil Rob. In April 2015, Rob asked his girlfriend, Brianna Flores, to marry him in a fancy Aladdin-style proposal. In 1991, he took part in the Skateboard World Cup in Germany and came in fifth place. When Deerdeck was 42 years old, his wife Brianna Noel Flores had their first child, a son named Coda Dash Deerdeck, born on September 9, 2016. In 2000, Deerdeck came in 6th place for park skating at the X Games held in San Francisco that year. After the unexpected passing of his close friend and former co-star from Robin Big, Christopher Big Black Boykin, Deerdeck expressed his grief saying, My heart is broken. I don't want to write this post. I don't want to believe that this is reality. I am so thankful for you. In 2023, Deerdeck sparked an online discussion about kids' beauty contests by posting a photo of his daughter wearing her new crown. Deerdeck only has one sister, and her name is Denise. Rob Deerdeck has a lot of tattoos that mean a lot to him. Some show things about his family, while others are about skateboarding. Each tattoo is special to him in its own way. In 
2020, the Rain Group and Causeway Media Partners gave money to form Thrill One Sports and Entertainment. It happened when Nitro Circus joined up with two things Rob Deerdick made, Street League Skateboarding and Super Jacket Production. Deerdick became an ordained minister in the Universal Life of Church in order to perform his sister's wedding in 2011. This ceremony was featured in an episode of Fantasy Factory. Deerdick filmed 336 episodes of Ridiculousness in just one year. MTV begged Rob for his season 4 of Robin Big and even offered him $125,000 per episode, but he refused. He owned the integration rights for Fantasy Factory, which allowed him to advertise his businesses in the show and keep all the profit. In a 2009 episode of Fantasy Factory, Deerdeck bought a racehorse with Joe Shalla Jr. and rode it in its first race. The horse named Mega Heat won with Deerdeck riding it. After that, he had up to 13 horses at once, and some even raced in Breeders' Cup events. Rob brought all the brand deals for Fantasy Factory, and he took advantage of this to introduce those brands to his own businesses. Wild Grinders animated series is centered around the life of Rob and his childhood experiences. Young and Reckless was his cousin's brand, and Rob was the driving force behind the company's success. Big Black made his debut appearance on Fantasy Factory in 2011, and this quickly increased the rating of the show. Before Rob and Big started airing, Deerdeck was great at helping businesses advertise. A year before the show, DC Shoes made about $120 million, but three years after the show began, they were making around $500 million. Because of how inexpensive it was to make Ridiculousness, Rob earned $140,000 per episode. When Rob was growing up in Dayton, Ohio, his mom worried a lot about him getting bullied. So she signed him up for sports like karate to help him learn how to protect himself. Rob appeared on a podcast on Impulsive where he talked about the death of his friend Big Black living forever and his success of how he got to where he is today. Rob, through his company Deer Deck Machine, has teamed up with Leisure Town to create a THC-infused version of the brand's CBD sparkling seltzers. During his 20s, Rob said that he was lazy and smoked a lot of weed, but after his podcast on Impulsive, it seems he's more disciplined. Deer Deck is passionate about animals and has expressed his love for various creatures, including his beloved bulldogs. He often shares photos and videos of his pets on social media, showcasing his softer side. Throughout his career, Deerdeck has remained committed to making a positive impact on the world around him. Whether through his philanthropy, mentorship, or inspirational speaking engagements, he strives to uplift and empower others to achieve their dreams. In September 2017, Deerdeck invested in a drink company called Beatbox. Beatbox has been featured in big name places like Forbes, TMZ, Adweek, Business Insider, and lots more. It has also gotten attention from tons of popular news sites and magazines.